Hello and welcome to my second video about CanOpen specification. In this video, let's take a look at the object dictionary. Last time I said that you can imagine an object dictionary as a letter boxes for a block of flat, each index representing one object to access by an owner of a letter box. The object dictionary is a configuration file specific for each device. It is configured by an EDS editor. It contains a list of variables, is indices and sub-indices, data types, land of data and attributes. Each object has its dedicated index. Some objects, such as arrays or records, have also sub-indices. Each object has a data type. There are variables, data types, for a single variable such as signed integer, unsigned integer of different bit length. And for multiple variable transfer, there is an array type for variables of the same data type, or record, which is a structure of different types of variable. Each object has a data length and pointer to data. The object has also attributes. These are type of storage, PDO mapping and PDO on COS, which will be explained later, read-write property and multiplied flag. As you can see here in the open source EDS editor, some objects are mandatory and others are optional. This configuration file is also known as an electronic data sheet, so it has EDX extension. The configuration editor can generate C source and header files, which are part of a CanOpen stack. Now I will move to the PDO services in the next video.